I will walk you through the translation of a Figma frame using the SmartCat Translator plugin. So let's launch it. In this scenario, I will select Asset Translation as it works well with the marketing materials. First, I need to select the source language, the original language of the material I want to translate. In this case, it's English. Let's translate it into French and Spanish. I will choose French and Spanish as the target languages here. I have two options. The first is to instantly AI translate this frame into the target languages. After I have initiated the AI translation, I can switch between languages. Here I can check to see whether there are any problems with the length of the text, allowing me to adjust the layout accordingly. The second option available is the translation through a project workflow scenario. Here's how it works. In this scenario, it's recommended to copy the frame to the same number of target languages into which you would like to translate it. Here we will again translate it into French and Spanish. First, I need to set the source language again. Then, I select French as the second language. And the last one I want to translate to Spanish. By selecting the frames, I can see what languages it's translated into. One frame should remain in the source language. After specifying the languages for the frames, I can select Create SmartCat Project. It opens the SmartCat interface where I will set up the project. First, choose a name for your project. You see that it already reflects the source and target languages that I previously selected via the plugin. Then we need to select the translation workflow. Workflows are the sequences of steps used to translate the text in the Figma frames. In this example, I will select AI translation plus human reviewing and editing. The AI translation happens automatically. Then the second step is where a human reviewer checks the translation and makes edits to ensure it is high quality and meets any style and voice requirements I may have. Next, click on create project. Now the Figma frames will be uploaded. Once uploaded, I can hover over them and see a small thumbnail for each of the frame files. It helps to understand which files these are when navigating between them. First, let's review the French translation. To review and edit translations, you can use SmartCat Editor. It shows you the original language text and the translated ones. It also shows you the live preview of the translated frame. Here I can see the French version which I have already translated. I can see the text that was already translated with SmartCat AI. At this point, I can make edits to adjust the text if need be. And I can instantly see what it will look like in Figma. It's great because your colleagues reviewing the translation or any hired linguists don't actually need to go into or figure out how to use Figma. They can use the user-friendly editing interface within SmartCat to review and edit translations while seeing the context of the translation via the live preview of the Figma frame. You can also use it to navigate between the different text segments. You can navigate through the text in the editor or by clicking on the various components in the live preview. You can also disable the live preview and see the exact source of the frame you are translating. The live preview shows your translations, and when disabled, you can see the frame with the source language. Let's assume I am done reviewing the AI translation, and am satisfied with the results. I made only a few changes. Let's go back to Figma. To be able to see the translations in Figma, I need to import the translations from SmartCat. To do this, I simply click on Sync Changes. Now I can switch every frame to its target language and see it reflect in the design frames.
As you can see, it also reflects the changes I made in editor. If I want to work on these translations further with my team collaborators, I just go back to the SmartCat project. Go to the tasks page within your Figma translation project. Here I can see two steps. The first one is AI translation related to two files. They are both completed, and I also have the proofreading stage which needs to be assigned to a human reviewer. From here I can invite my collaborators. I can also invite reviewers from the marketplace or someone from my team to work in SmartCat. I can also change their role to adjust the permissions of what they can do on the platform and share the access with a link. 